Only love for your craft can help you beat all the odds to keep it alive. Gujarat Salvi family are a fine example of how traditions can thrive despite rampant modernization if you have chosen to worship your craft every day and painstakingly so. Here is a special report by my colleague Polami Saha. If you had seen an exquisite pattern patola sari, you surely would have wanted to own one despite the cost. The sari from pole bound Gujarat was a star in Prime Minister Narendra Modi's G20 event. Now meet the family behind the patola, the Salvis. Rahul Salvi and Bharat Bhai Salvi are among 28 generations of the Salvi family which has been weaving the famous pattern patola by hand. I am working here for 50 years. My age is now 60 years old. I started working here from childhood. My family is working here for 900 years old without drop. Bharat Bhai's nephew Rahul Salvi studied to be an architect. The 44-year-old didn't bat an eyelid to give up a career in architecture to carry on with his family tradition. He's been doing it now for 22 years. Treasure of our country. So one has to uh, carry on this craft. If uh, we live, uh, then this will no longer last uh, for future generations. So it's our uh, prime duty to uh, carry on this craft. So I thought uh, that I have to join this craft and I'm, uh, now I'm a master weaver. It was in 12th century AD that King Kumar Pal of Solanki dynasty invited 700 families of Patola weavers from Jalna in Maharashtra to settle down in North Gujarat's Patan. This was because, Rahul Salvi tells us, the king would use new Patolas daily to worship God. But Rahul is worried the craft could be dying. What we are right now uh, doing uh, is uh, we are making it in original form, like we are using vegetable dyes. We uh, take care of the weight of the sari, its workmanship and all. So at the same time, uh, which are uh, available in market, those are all commercial production. Rahul, who hopes his son Vashisht will keep the family tradition alive, is worried the arts commercialization could end it. In Patan today, the Salvis are the only family that use handlooms to weave the exquisite patola. Two others use machines. We uh, don't uh, use any uh, machines, no, we uh, take care of our vegetable dyes, we don't use the synthetic dyes. Also the, our dyes are all uh, hand washed, I mean uh, they last for 100 or more than that. So there is a proverb uh, in Gujarati, Padi Patole Bath Fatiban Fitene. That means the uh, design laid down in Patola, it may turn but it shall never fit. Our family has such a trend that what we are doing is we want to take our own culture आगे लेकर जाने को मांगते हैं पाटन गुजरात और इंडिया को टॉप पे ले जाना है इसी वजह से काम हम करना ही है Recently on his visit to Bali for the G20 summit Prime Minister Narendra Modi gifted Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni a double ikat Patan patola dupatta The citation credited Patan Salvi family for honoring the craft through generations You can see the kind of work that has gone into it. It has been renowned across the world. It has been appreciated across the world as well. All they're looking for right now is for the right kind of encouragement to keep this tradition alive so that any sort of uh, cheap, fake articles of uh, Patola are not endorsed in the market. And this tradition is kept alive and weavers take to this tradition as well and this craft is appreciated across generations in the future as well. With camera person Ravikant, Polami Saha in Parton for India Today.